Hey, what's, uh, what's going on everybody? Yeah, I'm uh, going live with um, a respected scholar in the community. Um, yeah, a, a well-meaning peer. Um, someone that's done uh, you know, years of research and really top tier when it comes to his field of study. You know. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Is he, is he in the room? Give me a second. And, you know, today we're going to have, a, you know, not a debate, not an argument. You know, we, we're just going to have a discussion. And, um, and you know, we'll, we'll get down to the root of uh, you know, we'll talk about all the topics that concern the holy whore, right? Like, what does it mean? What are some misconceptions? Um, you know, what's the importance or lack thereof? And, um, you know, we, sh we should have a definitely a well thought out, meaningful discussion. You know, also during the show, please feel free to chime in, uh, give your perspectives. It's be a great time. There you go. Is that you? How's it going, bro? Hey, I know that forehead anyway. Yeah, anyway. Right. How you doing, good, bro? Look, 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 forehead go all the way to the back. I ain't talking about. <laughs> yeah, how you feeling today, man? Hey, man. Spectacular if I get to choose, bro. How about you? Oh, hold on. Is that what are you drinking today? Nah, look, I was thinking about that shit before I got out here. I was like, nah, I, oh, I, I, I just grabbed a beer. I was about to say, I was like, oh, nah, yeah. don't tell me. You switched I'm it up and drink water, though. I was like, you need to get hydrated for this one. Right? Uh, That's what I was thinking. I'm, and, and, and look, I'm going to say this, man. You already know what side I stand on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm oh, here to man. save the day, brother. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> he got the, he got the ass on his chest, bro. <laughs> 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 oh man, this motherfucker with me, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say because I, I was like, nah, should I chill? I was like, nah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Let's, 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 let's definitely give you know both perspectives. Oh shit, I love it. And, <laughs> so, so real quick, if you could just give an introduction of who you are and what it is you do and your services, and um, then get on the discussion. No problem, no problem. Uh, I'm Arius Bookman, um, known as the Spirit Shrink, one half of uh, occultcornerstore.com. Um, I'm a psycho spiritual consultant, metaphysician, and uh, practicing occultist. <clears throat> I primarily do metaphysics, and when I say metaphysics, it's not what people metaphysics is a branch of philosophy. I'm about to get triggered again, bro. I was triggered all last night doing a fucking interview, bro. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy. Motherfuckers out here talking about I don't debate. You're not doing no science. You're not doing no philosophy, bro. You're just talking outside of your neck. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my apologies, sir. <laughs> mm. Okay. It's still and, in. Um, but, <laughs> you know, and, and with that, you know, because metaphysics, physics in itself, it's a... Uh, it's a these are you know they're questions they're questions of the unknown the thoughts of the unknown nothing is completely proven in itself you know but it's it's all about the, the theories as to as to what, what makes sense so I, in a way i get what you're saying well well let me add to that real quick though because I, I i like where you took that um when we think about what 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 it is real, what exists, you know, what what what's out there, meaning in existence, you know, the meaning of something. You can find something and have no meaning for it. Don't know what it means. When we're talking things like that, that's where you go to the philosophers. You know, it 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 <clears throat> like like for example, Western science with the with things like cells and 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 um, you know, um, all the different all the different Western science fields of uh, all they're doing is describing the behaviors of abstracts. 
They're describing the behaviors of things. They don't tell you what something is. You have to go to the philosophers for that. Where? Keep going. No, that was all I had to oh. say. <laughs> I thought it was a. Uh... No. Because you know, right. questions of what is can't be answered by Western science. So that's what that's why I was saying that. You know, because what is is a whole different ball game. Like they're not even in the same park as the question of what is. <clears throat> you know, what exists? How how do we know it exists? What's the nature of knowledge? Okay. Okay. Uh, expound a little bit more on that. Well, okay, I could say this, this as well. Um, when we're talking metaphysics, a lot of people will get it <clears throat> will get it confused with okay. people who try and mystify mundane things. They try and take something that's mundane and make it and give it a spiritual veil, so that way they can say it's spiritual. You know, and, and the issue with this is that no one really draws a line and says this is and isn't spiritual. This ain't spiritual because now because if you if you take the stance that everything is spiritual, then what does the word spiritual even mean at that point? You've taken all, all the meaning out of it so that you could put it on anything. But now that you can put it on anything, it doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So it, 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 the devil's in the details. And people like to say the things that they've heard other people say. And they don't necessarily know the, the underlying frameworks. Nor are they willing to discuss it. Because nobody wants to debate. Hmm. Because it's beneath them. Fuck out of here. Them niggas ain't above. Them niggas ain't above preaching whatever the fuck they want to say unquestionably, like they're the nigga at church again. You know they're not above that, but they're just somehow above debating. Let's stop. I, so I, I do want to. I do want to address the the statement of like spirituality being in everything. Mm -hmm. um, to be fair, fair, right? The spirit is the breath. The breath is in everything. Adamant objects, inadamant objects. <sighs> the, the statement doesn't mean anything when you say it like that. Like, to <clears throat> when we're talking breath, you know, you don't, th a rock doesn't breathe. You know, even when you're talking breath, you can't say everything is breath because then in order for there to be breath, you have to have the one that's breathing the breath. You got to have the in and the out, which are two different atmospheres. But are there other implications in the idea of what breath is? Like especially in, if you're talking if you're talking metaphysically if you're talking spiritual shit about the idea of breath it's the in and the out it's the in and the out, out as one right right like look this is why this is what I mean when you when I, this is, wait, hold on this is what I mean when I say you can't say everything is spirituality this is what I mean when I say that is because <clears throat> words words define each other like just saying something is everything. Is in a, it's, it's an emotional way of saying that something is very significant, and that's, that's, it, you can say something is very significant without saying that it's everything, because to say it's everything is, is a much larger statement. Because if it's everything, then what difference does it make that it's a thing? Like because part of the part of what makes it special, what makes it significant, is that not everything is it. If Everything was it. It wouldn't make no difference. Really, really. That, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that spirituality is not deeply significant to all of our physical lives and very intricate in it. It most certainly is. But the statement that spirituality is in everything is <clears throat> it's it it's pushing in the bounds of of how you can use the words to 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 convey what you're trying to say. But the thing the thing about that is it's like if spirituality. If spirituality isn't in everything, what is spirituality not in? The physical stuff. Thank you. That was a great. That's an that's an astounding question. Thank you very much. What 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 something is spiritual? It's non-physical. It's not physical. Okay. That that's what makes it distinct from something that's physical or mundane. Okay. Now mo now granted, things that are physical or mundane are illusionary. What does that mean? Does it mean they're not real? It means that they're all appearance, basically. Okay, that's part of the reason why they're not spiritual, because they're all appearance. They're all an emergent after effect of something. See, if, you, if you're talking spiritual, you're talking non-physical, you're talking the things that are more essential. For example, um, 
the number four. We all use the number four. We, we, we see it in every day. There's no one who would, who, who would say the number four does not exist. But since we're saying it exists, can you go touch it? No. Can you invite it somewhere? No. Because it, it, it exists non-physically. And see, these yeah. non-physical things precede physical things. So they're not going to have spiritual things in the physical world. You That's like saying I have biological four. things in the video game because I'm a biological thing playing the game. Like it, it, you have to make the distinction so that there's some significance in the word. You can also touch four items. You can also count four items. You can also mm -hmm. count four. But you can't do, you can't touch four. That's what I'm saying. You can't touch four. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm not, I, I agree with you. You can touch four items. You can hold up four fingers. You can, you can smack four bitches. <laughs> but it don't, that, that none of that is actually touching four. Because once again, this is why you have to go to the philosophers to start to get into what is. Mm. Because four in and of itself is something beyond uh, four objects or four fingers. It, yeah. it, it, it precedes anything physical. Yeah. So when we're talking spiritual, that's where you want to be going towards it. The only thing about that is four, to be fair, I mean, that's a, uh, you know, it's a funny, it's a funny number to choose because four does represent a foundation. Four does represent something solid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of four is to be touched, is to be something physical, is for there to it's be a the number of form. Yeah, it's the number of form. form. The form isn't necessarily physical form. Okay. Form is a physical form. For example, um, a triangle. A triangle is a form. It doesn't have to be right. a physical form, but it's a form. Versus nothingness, which is no form at all, no thingness. Now having a triangle, now you have form, but it doesn't have to be physical. But I, I get what you're saying because that's that's the nature of four. It's 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 the number of cycles. You know, it's the number of the, the four elements that everybody knows. You know, so uh, I'm not saying it doesn't have an, an impact on the physical world. It most certainly does. Without these things, there would be no physical world. But what I'm saying is the physical world, it's illusionary. Like people say it's illusionary and they think it, that means it's fake or it's not real. That's not the case. Right. It's not what it appears to be. So it, 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 it <sighs> have you ever seen um, one of those fractal pyramids? It's got like the spaces in it. Right. Like it's got a pyramid and then it's on top of four other pyramids and that's on top of four pyramids and it's just like, it's like a, a that's that's how the physical world is. Like every everything that you that we would consider a thing is actually other things, and it's appearing to be what it is. Let's take a, a rock for example. Okay, it's a rock. Um, no, it's it's um carbon atoms. Um, no, it's subatomic particles, electrons and protons and neutrons. No, it's quarks. Let's go the other way. Uh, it's a rock. No, it's the planet Earth. Uh, no, it's the solar system. No, it's the galaxy. It's all of these things at once appearing to be this. Right. That's what I mean. When I say it's 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 an appearance, the appearance is is is, is a result of our perception. So, <clears throat> the idea that these things are things in and of themselves by themselves is the fallacy. So, by that example, right? It's like saying the appearance of the rock is just a rock. It has it's it's just there. It doesn't breathe. It has no life. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. There is no rock. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, when that's it, what I'm saying. There is, is no rock. When it, but also when it's also broken down into the different elements that you describe, it becomes something more significant than what it appears to be. Mm -mm. It, it, look in that in that form, it's it's the outward expression of what a rock is. See, we're talking a rock, like like when I talk to you about the difference between four and four objects, right? This is the difference between a rock and the expression of a rock. Right. Okay, we're talking a rock. We want to go spiritual. A rock, it, it's it's an archetypal form. Okay, it, the the existence of it precedes a physical expression. In the physical world, any and all expressions of a rock are outward expressions of that. Okay, so uh, once again, I'm not saying the physical world does not imp that the spiritual world does not impact the physical world. I'm not saying that at all. Mm -hmm. Not I'm saying the complete opposite. But what I'm saying is 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 just because it's it, it's a spiritual thing doesn't mean it folds over directly one to one on the, on the way we're supposed to live life physically. We're living life through pieces of meat, monkey pieces of meat. You know how fixated we are on asses? That's some primate shit. <laughs> 
That's not divine. Get the fuck out of here. It's yeah. some primate ass shit, yeah, bro. Like we're, we're we're experiencing this through a monkey piece of meat, and so you know there 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 are things that come along with this. I'm not saying there's no divinity. You can't experience divinity from the physical. I'm not saying anything. I'm, not, I'm telling you, the physical world comes from the spiritual. But what I'm saying is. Just because there's an archetype doesn't mean that's your guide for life. And also, to be fair, I mean, you brought <laughs> up like you brought up you brought up like, this monkey brain and us being in this animalistic nature. Mm -hmm. Yet, um, animals and the animalistic nature. When people look at animals, they just see this primitive thing. This they see they just see it's very primitive. It's very violent. It's mm -hmm. uh, uh, survival based, dog eat dog sort of situation. Mm -hmm. You know, but these people that don't study mm -hmm. animals, don't even pay attention to animals. The, the uh, uh, within different environments of animals, you have this the same animals that you would see throw away their children to save themselves. You'll also see animals that will sacrifice themselves so that their children can get away. Mm -hmm. You have that that all that uh, live what would what people would classify as being this uh, um, poly polyamorous lifestyle. You also but you also have animals that mate for life, right? When people mm -hmm. see animals and and humans and a human mm -hmm. as being a superior thing, right? They also leave out animals or uh, birds such as crows. Crows who have an intelligence, crows who can mm -hmm. pulls, crows who not only can remember when someone has attacked them, but they also <laughs> can send a signal or send something on the person to let other crows know this nigga is an op until he dies and they will be attacked by crows. <laughs> he gonna tell his homies and so, shit. Basically, you know, sex, which everyone rega re regales to is just, oh, that's animalistic. Like, and, and I hear a lot of conscious niggas talk this shit too. They say, yo, you know, back in the days when I was in my ego and, and, and when I was <laughs> now, I breathe in my pineal gland, I breathe it expands, and I don't need to have sex for 40 years or some shit like right. that. Right? <laughs> nothing about animals. Right? And again, I'm, this is not coming from a nigga that's, uh, I'm not coming from uh, the perspective of uh, vegan animal rights, anything like that. I'm all for hunting, I'm all for the game, all for all that shit. I believe in a circle of life. That's dope. What I'm saying is, I've watched animals and they have shown, they've also proven and they've done these experiments of the intelligence of animals, regardless of the size of their brain, which includes the physical, which people like to, which where humans, we get this thing of, well, because we are the, the brain, mm -hmm. our brain, the body ratio is what makes us intelligent compared to other mm -hmm. animals, but then they'll... Mm -hmm. You a dolphin who also has that same uh, brain to body mass, and they won't give it that same credit. Or mm -hmm. crows won't give it that same credit. Or something like a, uh, or they'll uh, ignore the intelligence of a whale who's extremely large, but their brain mm -hmm. doesn't match their body yet. Very family oriented. The ratio. Very instinctual. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Also, you see animals. They, 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 they also have this thing where they are, are also, people might say spiritually connected, where they have also a divine connection to the earth in itself, where they react to certain, uh, where they react to certain cataclysmic phenomena where they can detect. Um, and it's crazy. We still don't have that capacity, even with our, 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 our most advanced machines, yet they can detect certain earthquake, when earthquakes are getting ready to rise before any machines, they can detect when a tsunami is getting ready to take take place. Uh, certain machines, predators, and a, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying. But you know, I, that's that's the only thing. When it comes, when people say animalistic, like it's an insult, <laughs> or like niggas, <laughs> right? Get him. Get him. Why we here, nigga? We can't because nobody's chasing ass. 
right? Right? You better and, tell and them. Just because they might minimize <laughs> the words doesn't mean it's Ooh. not the fine in itself, the action in itself. <laughs> right, I agree with that shit. Fuck you, Tama. Look, I, don't know. Nigga, I, I agree. I don't know where you was going. <laughs> I, I, I said, I said, I'm here to save him today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wait, wait. Are you saving? Are you saying you saving animals now? Is that what you're talking about? What's like? What's the? Where are we? Where are we going with this one? Because I, I don't disagree. We're in a place where we don't disagree. So I'm curious where, where this goes. Oh, well, all right. Excuse me. I, <laughs> Not in the little sense of saving anybody. Right? You can only save. We all get triggered, bro. We all get triggered, bro. I, I, I know it's about to be a few requests. Can you save me? No, I cannot. <laughs> Look, he gonna take the ass off real quick. You can only be saved of knowledge of self. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with this nigga, bro. <laughs> but, okay. All right, so let's let let's talk about let's, it, man. Let's go, no, man. Let's, yes, sir. Let let let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right. So, okay. All right. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what separates <laughs> sexual partners? From a life partner. What sets you? What separates sexual partners from a life partner? I'm, well, hold on, hold on, real quick. I, I really don't want to make this like a question answer sort of thing. I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to like uh, be like an exchange. But I'll throw mm-hmm. a question out there. You give your perspective. Mm-hmm. I can share. How about how about we do this? How about we do this? Because, um. This this conversation here is an extension from the comment section up under uh, the repost you did from okay. Omnistrom, right? Right, 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 right. right okay. Oh, so, so let's let's just. All right, all right. So, with that being the case, I got mm-hmm. you. Oh, mm-hmm. All right. So, all right. Can a hoe be a housewife? Like, like a spoon can be a shovel. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> just think of it. Broken out of jail. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> For real though. Hey, so, uh, no, my yeah. claim, my, my my argument is not that it's impossible to do. I will not tell you what's impossible. I will not. I will not claim to make such a big a uh, big statement. Uh, look, look, let me let me just give you my beef. All right, let me give you my beef with the whole idea, and 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 you tell me what you think. Okay. <clears throat> um, basically the the the, the argument is. That um, you know, based on based on a segment of what Bobby Hammond said in a video uh, about <clears throat> the archetype of the divine hoe, the advice that was given was that if she used to be a hoe and now she's spiritual, run to her. I said that is cap. I said um, I said no. That that's ridiculous. Um, and that's actually bad advice. Like that. Not only is that a, mis- a misinterpretation, it's bad advice for any male. Um, not to say hoes are bad people. No, I'm not here to say hoes. Like hoes can be hoes can be great. There's a, there's a, there are perfect places where hoes are like, oh my god, this is perfect. This is great. It's just what we needed. But <clears throat> just from the definition of what a hoe is, it's not the same thing that you the, the, the housewife is, bro. And look, look, this is this is my misinterpretation thing because that's that's shit that really pissed me off. Because look, we can really we can talk about hoes and housewives. The shit that pissed me off. Is this idea that because Bobby Hibbert talked about the existence of the divine hoe archetype, that now that means that niggas is supposed to go get hoes in the physical world? Boy, that's ridiculous. The divine whore, which is the which is uh, which is actually uh, another interpretation of the idea of the divine maiden, because it comes from the triple goddess of uh, virgin maiden and crone, or you say virgin whore and crone. It's it's part of a system. It's not saying, hey, this exists. Bobby made mention of it because the idea that we have coming out of Christianity, you have to remember who Bobby was talking to. 
coming out of Christianity, the idea people had of, of what the feminine should be uh, or, or what it can be in an acceptable manner was only the virgin, the virgin and the crone. And they had skipped over the idea of the possibility of divinity in the whore. That's what Bobby was talking about. It was not advice to, for niggas to go out here in physical life and marry whores to make them housewives. Like, it's just not, it's just not the thing. To be, to be fair, to be fair, it's it's what you say. I, I'm gonna, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. I'm gonna use your words because you, you said this in the comment. It's a right. false parallel. It's right. a false parallel. That's my last thing. Go ahead. Come on, continue. I'm sorry. He prefaced it with if she was a hope and she conscious, run to right? Hold on. Oh I wish I had a hat to put on because it's cap. I wish. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well then, all right. So then that's when I introduce another question, right? Hit me. Or, or it's like, all right. So what, at what threshold does, does a, a woman become associated with becoming a woman, right? And with that being said, like, how many people does she have to have slept with, right? Is it about how many people she slept with? Is it about how long she's slept with multiple people throughout how many years? Can it also take place in a day? And if she's had sex with that many people, even in a day, can it ever be erased? Is she always a war beyond redemption? Your perspective. So I'm going to take the end, the end question there because it was like about five questions. Is she is a whore uh, uh, irredeemable? Is a whore irredeemable? That goes in. That speaks to the nature of irredeemability. So I'm not really sure. So in order to seek the answer to that, whether uh, 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 can a whore be irredeemable? Hit, hit me. Uh, let me ask you a question here, bro. <clears throat> um, um, let's say a dude sucked a dick and a half. Mm. Is he gay? We're talking about dick pussy shit. Well, we're, we're talking about the nature of irredeemable, whether or not someone can be irredeemable, ir irredeemed. Hold on. We're talking because it's sexual, it's, it's sexual, it's right? False parallel. Cause we talking How about, was it false? We're talking, we talking about the whole man, woman. That's but what we talking this is why this is why it doesn't work for men that way because because being sexually experienced as a male is beneficial. It's it's something that's look anybody checking for a virgin, bruh. If, you, if she know that you can lay it down, that's, that's a positive. It doesn't work the same way for females. Men and fe men and women aren't the same thing. We're not equal. So so when you say so so I can't just use the same thing as uh, as, as a guy goes out and he has a, a bunch of sex with a bunch of women because that's a po a positive on our side. It makes us look more attractive. So we're talking about because for we look from the eyes of males, the idea of a woman who's who's the the, the village rag that's not your prize that you take home and take care of. You know, it's, 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 bro, it goes back further than fucking villages and shit. Bro, it's in the primates. It's animalistic shit, just like he was talking about. Right, okay, like, and so when I'm, when I'm saying it's not a false parallel, I'm talking about the idea of what, what would disgust a woman then for a man? What would we have to consider whether or not he's redeemable? Because that's the question we're asking is whether or not the woman can be redeemable if she's a hoe. My question is, I'm not sure because it gets into the nature of what is, how do you determine who can be redeemed? And so in order to find that answer, I'm asking this question. A dude sucks a dick and a half. I'm not even saying he, he's a hoe with dick. I'm saying a nigga sucks a dick and a half. Is he gay? Yes. 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 Now, now, to what degree is he redeemable? Because mm. we only talking a dick and a half, and it's easy to tell the answer. Imagine if the nigga sucked 20 dicks, 100. What's, what? what What's your jaw count, bruh? Mm. No, we're not going to question whether or not he's redeemable. And see, this is one of those things where we're we're oh. trying to give we're trying to give a, a, a leeway for people's the consequences of people's life value. Because I'm going to say this one last thing, one last thing, one last thing, sir. Okay, men, men and women, we have a different battle in life. <clears throat> women come with intrinsic value, and so their their battle in life is maintaining that that thing that they have. Men, we don't have any when we come in. Where we're expendable, and so our goal is to build it. 
And so when you get to the thing, when you build it, you want a woman who's, who's when you've done the work, you want a woman who's done her work. But if she hasn't done her work and she still wants to benefit from your work, it's like, well, what the fuck are we doing here? <clears throat> That's it, bro. Like, it's not because I don't think this is rocket science. I think this is I think this is very natural. Right. It's not an insecurity thing. It's it's a it's 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 a numbers thing, bro. It's this is mad. This is business mm. because women will do the same thing for men, and we're not gonna we don't blip and we don't bat an eye. Right. You know, we think it's natural. We think it's normal. We agree with it, and so it, it's about men having the space to do what's necessary for them as well. Mm. So that's why I think that's bad advice, bro. So what you saying, a dick and a half, right? Dick and a half. The man is doomed. So, so, so a does dick that and a half. That, that, so that's a he did story. one. He oh. was like, I don't know if I like this. Got halfway through the next one, like, no, I don't like it. Does Dude that, is done. A woman, <laughs> if she, if she's had, if she's been with one and a half dudes before you, mm -hmm. does that disqualify her? I don't think so. I don't think that comes close to the idea of a whore. All right. So when when do they become whores? <clears throat> what makes a woman a whore? I think I don't. I don't think it's the number of men as uh, well. I think at a certain point, probably it's it's kind of like when you start to hit like the um uh I like the um. 30s and, and, and 50s, you know, in like a, a five year span, you know, where it's like a different dick a month, you know, because this is the thing. It's it's hard to call a woman a whore sometimes because she could have always been a worse whore. Like, man, we got to work to get sex. All a woman got to do is say, hey, pussy's over here and, and seven niggas appear. Like, so it's not like when a woman says I got some dick, like it's not impressive because you don't have to do nothing for it. When the dude's like, I got some pussy, then you know the nigga had to do something. You know, you know, unless, unless, of course, it's rape, and then we're not really talking about that, you know. Like, cause we live in different worlds, and we can't equivocate our worlds to be equal. Because, look, I'll, I'll say it like this. A dude can't even get a dick and a half. Look, I'll give the bitch 20 bodies. Peace. And, and nobody's saying nothing. Dude can't get a dick and a half, but we, we have an uproar. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm not saying niggas should be able to suck dick. I'm saying, look, if, if niggas can't suck, can we at least say hoes exist? Come on, come on, like we like hoes exist. When a man when a man decides to take a woman, and, and this is the woman he's gonna take care of. He wants this woman to have his children. Why would he just pick any woman? He's gonna pick the woman that he thinks is the is the best quality. Now, of course, there are going to be various, various different ways people are going to determine quality. I won't deny you that. But, <clears throat> bro, there's some, there's, some un there's some universals that we've had for thousands of years. There's some universals we've had for thousands of years, bro. And it goes back into the animalistic shit. And motherfuckers will say, well, we're, we're more evolved than that. I'll be damned. We're not. You beat the five. Right? Look, the streets, the streets are all the way fucked up. Right. So, <laughs> all right. So, what you're saying is, all right. Or what you mentioned, you said thirty within a five year span. Yeah. Let's say she, she just hit eighteen, which you know they usually don't wait till eighteen to lose it. Let's say she just hit eighteen, five year span, thirty different dudes. Hey, check we'll it. say we'll say she's entering the realm of hope. You know, once again, there's no studies been done on it. There's no definitive math. I'm I'm giving a number for the sake of, of us having the conversation. So, if there was a if there was a thirty body count in a five year period that uh -huh. took place, yeah, when she's discussed it with you, it was only seven. Or what? Wait, what? Seven, as in you ask, and she says only been with seven people. Okay, so she lies. Yeah. How would you? Okay, so. Otherwise. Okay, so well, 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 okay, I, I just want to make sure I understand what you're saying. So what's the what's the point? I mean, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't know otherwise, but what I'm saying is, it. How would you know? Unless she tells you from what 2012. To 2017, she fought 34 niggas. How would Bruh, you, unless she shares that with you? You wouldn't. 
Yeah. You wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. Oh. You wouldn't know anything about anyone unless they told you the truth about it. Oh. Or you fucked around and found out. Unless for some reason there was receipts. So what, you know, so you, of course you're not going to know. So what you're saying is... I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. Is, is this was this usually a question that you would that you would pose prior to starting a serious relationship with somebody? No, or is this something that came up. It's not. It's not something that people usually ask. People don't say how no. many people have sex with. No. So if <laughs> so if all right, I, I'm, so I'm, I'm answering your question. I'm trying to find where we're going with them. Word. Right? If it's on, huh? it's on the word of of uh, of experiences and you never knew about it, how mm -hmm. would you be able to determine whether or not you have a good girl or you have a whore? If you're good, if you never asked the good girl or the whore how many you slept with. Bruh, you wouldn't. But uh, once again, dude, well, not once again for this conversation because I haven't said it in this conversation. But I don't, I, I don't think there's such thing as a good and a bad girl, bro. Well, well, like, well, fuck well, out of here. Well, well, to be fair, Look, a hoe, a hoe, a hoe can be a good girl and a hoe can be a bad girl. What a hoe is isn't it, to say a hoe isn't to say a bad girl. Right. Okay. See, that was part of what Bobby was talking about. That was part of the reason he even said it. Right. When I say hoe, I don't mean bad girl because I'm not divide. I'm not dividing women into good and bad girls. Right. Like, especially in the, in the point we're at right. right now in a colonized state where we don't have cultures and religions guiding us in, in, in building families and constructing anything women's natural state is to do that is to be a hoe I, I do not expect a woman out here with with with, with no family structure um no incentive to develop family structures you know there's benefits to being a hoe in the streets like why would i would not expect a woman not to so, so what I'm saying is, how is that not the same as Bobby saying if she used to be a hoe and she conscious now, run to her. That's saying that she, that, that's, that right there. I don't agree with Bobby on that. That's what I said. That is bad advice. Wait, I'm saying that statement alone is a statement of growth. It's From, to what? What? Nigga, what? Hold on, hold on. You mean growth is in coming from people who are just Christians and shit, right? You don't mean growth as in like, like the the pinnacle of development is is somehow the you know the you know getting with the hoe. Like I know that's not what you mean. You mean you mean it's it's development and growth from being you know superstitious Christian dead niggas, right? That's what you mean. Well, the uh, growth as in. You went through one portion, you went through one route, and now you're so, now you're I don't know, you, you put more focus on you put more focus on your uh, on on uh on your consciousness. You put more focus on learning and shit like that. Yet you okay, still okay. experience okay. of that as well. All right, cool. All right, look, hello, hello, I get you. I get you now. I get you now. I get you now. Well, oh, look here. I want to ask you. I want to ask you some questions, then, because I want to. I want to. I want to explore this world that you've created here. This, 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 this place where you know people are. We, we're going towards growth, and people are more open. We're, we're focused on their conscious and their spirit. Because I want to see if men can do some of this too. You know, because you know we're focused on growth and in, in, in their consciousness and their spirit. You know, let's get back to that dick and a half. You know, since we focus on consciousness and spirit, and you know, since it's, 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 it's the discussion around whether or not a hoe is based on the word, you know, you know, so you know whether or not the dude gay because he's sucking dick is based on the word gay, maybe. So I mean, so what what is it that that men are, you know, just like where are we changing what it means to be men? Because we're changing what it means to be women we're changing what it means for female we're changing the definition of that and that's fine to do no one's going to tell you not to but where are we changing i don't think we're no no we've been doing it wrong we've been doing we've been doing it where we're not we're not we're not marrying hoes for for millennia now bro we've been doing that for the longest that's true bro that goes back to the jungle bro Brother. You're not trying to have, you're not trying to have your child with the what with the woman who you can't who you can't check the paternity from, bro. So many people are products of it. Okay, so what? So there's a lot of bastards in a colonized society that are also married. So that's just what I'm saying. What? Like that's look, look. 
even like what, what you're saying that you're saying based on what like uh like a a recent fabric a recent fabrication or a societal norm right yes but it but if we've been existing for hundreds of thousands of years prior mm -hmm. right and sex has been sex right yeah and marriage has been marriage so See, look, uh, that's perfect, right there. Sex has been sex, and marriage has been marriage. So yes, and now motherfuckers want to change so it. Sex has been sex, and marriage has been marriage. So you're saying that, that there were wives before there were whores? No. So how? how so how? So how what I'm saying is, sex is sex, how, and marriage is marriage. Come? So how can marriage come first? I didn't say marriage come first i didn't even i didn't i didn't suggest that at all what i'm saying is there's sex and then there's marriage sex most certainly came first the whore is the oldest profession so see this is why this is why it's so crazy because holes go back so far when we're, we're sitting here and we're, we're pondering what it means to be a whole hole's been around for so long right right it's like, but, like it's, it's ridiculous, but we don't have to do none of this kind of pondering it, when it comes to a dude sucking a dick and a half. It's a dick and a half. What I'm saying is, and the dude is done, it, done, dude, gay. Oh, but, 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 but we sitting here and we got to go, but maybe he's a 10, maybe he's a 30. Like, come on, bro. You, there's, there's something wrong here. If they, We've been doing it this way for hundreds of thousands of years. We sitting here colonized and now we're changing it and saying it's right and it's progressive and it's not. But the look at the state, look, look at the state of people, bro. You kill him. It's not progressive. There are no families anymore. Everybody's an individual. You got a bunch of individuals by their damn selves struggling. Fuck you mean this is progressive? Nah, man, we've been doing it for hundreds of thousands of years. Like you said, there's been sex and there's been marriage. And motherfuckers want to blur the line so they can get benefits from motherfuckers. No, sir. That is awful advice. If, a, if you have a woman who ha who comes with value and she not only can not, not only can she not get it into her head that she already has value, but she can't, she doesn't have the common sense to preserve it for something valuable in the future, then she is not a good investment as a no. wife. No. No, you, you, you do understand that. If somebody, if you give your kid an allowance and he say, dad, I want this $10 thing. He get $2 a week. And you say, okay, you got to save your money. And he don't save his money. You know he don't deserve that toy. This is real shit, bro. We wouldn't give in hoes husbands. For real. So many See, men today, men today, men today have to rise to the occasion of being men and don't get anything. We have to still continue to work. Bro, we don't come I'm with value. If you see a man out there and he's valuable, it's not because he got titties and a pussy. Bro, that's real, real shit. We sitting here the question of whether or not a hoe is a real thing. It's the oldest profession in the book. We've been doing this for a long time, bro. That's bad advice on the physical realm. Yes, divine hoe exists because divine virgin and divine crone exists. Not because it's just some thing out there, this, this, this island in the spiritual world. But it's, it's part of a system. Look, man, I get it. There are a lot of women who are in a position where they, they, they you can say they've been misguided or where, where, where the world has acted upon them, or you can say they've, 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 um, they've been irresponsible, where it's their own responsibility. Either way, they're in a position where they're, 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 they're not the women we used to have. The men we have are not the men we used to have. And we each looking for what we used to have and what we got. And that's the problem. There are no more virtues brides and there are no more manhood rights see when we say there's no more virgin brides that's what i mean when i say i don't expect these women not to be a hoe of course before she's gonna have been a hoe what else is she gonna do that's the value she got we're colonized I, that's what i expect but see nobody's talking about what, for men because we're gonna say we'll sit here and have a hissy fit about whether or not a bitch can be a hoe but a dude dick and a half and he's done in white supremacy and this homoerotic white supremacy everybody know about the fucking prison industrial complex it's so common we can make a rape joke about it and everybody knows the rape joke hey man don't drop the soap don't drop the soap first time i came out of jail my mother and brother were right there laughing don't drop the soap mm. bro what if that really would have happened to me are you fucking kidding me mm. but it's okay you see we, we were we, we're okay with the idea of our women progressing but if men progress in some kind of way other than how they're beneficial now something's wrong mm -hmm. see man right the, the, i i'm not, not 
saying women should be another way. I'm saying if that if we're gonna accept this, mm. that we gotta give it, we gotta go full circle. We gotta open up the door so men can do because we got a lot of dudes out there in the doomed uh field of gay mm. who, 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 who oh bro man, this this fucking place, bro. I'm telling you. Like, think about it like this, bro. And I was having this conversation with my mother the other day. Um, black males experience the highest rate of sexual debut, the mm -hmm. earliest and highest rates of sexual debut of anybody, women, white, black, anybody. Fuck it. It's black, the highest, the earliest. Bro, fuck out out of here like and think about like this is the conversation i was having you know we, we were comfortable with the idea of of what rape being is when a man assaults a woman okay right. we're comfortable with that i'm not going to take that from women that's your word what what is it called when when a, when a grown woman does it to a young boy what is still that rape. Rape? But, 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 like but is it the same thing honor still rape though but, but see that's the thing <sighs> It's not the same thing because it, because in our existence it can be even translated as a badge of honor. Ain't nobody gonna translate somebody putting a dick in a little girl as a badge of honor for her. Mm. But our little boys get that. Mm. Fuck out of here, dude. But and, and and it goes as you know that's just life. That's just how it goes. He's okay. Like bro, this is we know hoes exist, man. We know it. Only. That's not what Bobby was talking about, bro. Mm. Very true, and and even to, to even to add on, right? You have uh, you have Mary Magdalene, right? She's 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 resorted, or she is uh, claimed the name to be the ho a holy whore within Christianity, right? Jesus, baby yeah. mama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there is. No of her having sex or, or or being a prostitute throughout the entire book, right? So, and this is why I wanted to have this conversation with you, mm -hmm. right? Because when we talk about the holy whore, right? The there's two things that come into people's mind, right? Uh, the first thing is the first thing is sex. Right. Mm -hmm. First thing, I'm mm -hmm. sex with. Right. And then the second thing is marriage. Right. But when people mention how many dudes she's had sex with, right? Like what I what I've noticed a very common comment. They'll say they'll say I mean well I'll fuck a, I'll fuck a whore but I wouldn't marry her. Right. Hold on. But <laughs> the, the part about that is right. Is, <laughs> What's weird about that, that is you, you would trust somebody, right? With doing a doing an act where you all are fucking communicating physically, spirit. No, 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 no. Let's be fair. No, What's actually no because that's not fair. Because that's not Let's fair. That's not fair. But if I'm if I'm if I'm fucking some bitch in the back of the SUV outside of the club, I am not thinking about communicating with her. Well, I'm getting cheeks, bro. It's animalistic, bro. You trying to take you trying to you trying to spiritualize it, bro. Chill out. Look, it's literally it's about what is. You all are exchanging not just fluid, you're exchanging genetics, nigga, exchanging DNA. Y'all exchange your DNA. You all are, okay. your bodies okay. are communicating on a level that you that you can't have with anyone else unless you're having sex with them, right? Okay. So, so what so, you're saying well, is it's it's you're you're it's confusing or it's weird because you would you would trust this person to exchange your DNA and your fluids, but you wouldn't trust them with sharing your life with them. Not just that, but the fact that you are stopping short of that. Or like the fact that you would even introduce that into yourself, right? Because it's like we have this, we have this, uh, uh, not we, but like we have this, uh, like when it comes to sex, right? Mm -hmm. It's been tri trivialized. It's the made to seem as if there's no, uh, 
there's no real benefit to it aside from getting off. Yet, it's also been documented that it has its healing properties as well, right? Mm -hmm. Not only that, but you could even talk about what people might consider like the like post nut clarity, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. See, you, you have that. It's real. Right? <laughs> people, people have people have post nut clarity, right? And they they either are are repulsed by the person, or there's something that draws them even more to that person, right? Even we have pheromones and shit which mm -hmm. communicate with each other before we even do anything physical with each other, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still drawing each other to each other, right? Okay. So, I get you. so something, so something that, that might seem like, oh man, I said, because I was horny, I was feeling out, my, my balls was tingling one day and I just had to get some, right? Yet, there's something literally taking place in your, <laughs> like, in your, uh, even if we're not going to talk about our spirits and how we're connected by our hearts, your, your genetics are be, are pulling you to that person, whether or not you met her in the club, mm -hmm. whether or not you paid for her for the mm -hmm. night, whether or not you, um, you approached her and wanted to start something serious with her. So, the, the fact that someone who has a connection with you, that 99 point Nine 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 percent of the planet will never have with you is excluded based on the fact of her other connections with other men that she met previously to you and men that she'll meet after you. It's just a it's just a very strange. It's not reason. strange. They, you know, it's not strange. I can't make her wife. No. I, I mean, even though even though you enjoy the stuff you're doing. But even but every time, every time you think of it, nah, nah, every time you think of it, switch it with the dick and a half, bro. Every time you think of it, switch it with the dick and a half, and it gets, it gets, it, it stops being weird immediately. But but no, but switch no, it no, 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 no. dick and a half, and it's not, because, bro, it's, it's it's about it's about what men want, bro. Because I, I I'm starting to agree with you because I get it. We have all these factors, right, that would cause that to happen. Right? Yeah, Our food is fucked up. They got they got gay shit in the water. They got fucking uh, astrogen in the water, making yes. <laughs> transform yes. shit. We got yes, soy. I agree. And I agree. We got and we got all this shit that's gonna have women out here without any kind of support structure and family. And so both of us are in a ridiculous position. Right. However, only one of us are called to overcome that. Only one. One of us are called to step and do something, and, do something. and then and, and once you step and do something what you get is someone who didn't mm -hmm. as an investment in your future see bro i'll agree with you i won't deny what you're saying but the thing is we only we only apply it to the men and see if, if, if you want to do the thing where you want you only want to apply responsibility to the man well you're gonna have to give me some type of authority because if you if i have responsibility and i don't have authority i'm some kind of a slave and i'm not i'm not here to play the slave thing mm. these are grown men out here bro they can do whatever they want and, and, and if a grown man wants a, a woman who hasn't been with a bunch of other women uh, uh, he has that right just like a woman has the right to want a dude who hasn't been gargling dick you know i i like none of us think that's absurd for her to want that you know none of us think that's absurd but when it comes to males we have a, we have a thing where, men, where, where we're thinking what men should be what, what men should want and men are saying what men want men have men have wanted this for hundreds of thousands of years <clears throat> you know it's not a it's not a new thing the new shit is being colonized right <sighs> That is bad advice. Be fair. That is bad the advice. Colonization comes with what? Co the colonization is uh, it also comes with the monogamy. The colonization also comes with the virgin brides, right? Whether it's in whether it's what, in what virgin brides? Yes. Wait, who's been virgin brides? That was a big thing when it came to Christianity. Before colonization, Islam as it was as it was when it came to Judaism. But these are all look, colonial. Look, these it, are all colonial spiritual practices. Islam, Judaism, and Christianity—that's monotheism. It's one thing. That's from. That's the same era of shit. Before colonization, you was getting the virgin bride. You was getting the virgin. If you if you went through manhood rights, they weren't gonna give you something used, like real shit. 
that's like they, they're giving you you and this woman are supposed to build your family your whole legacy and you're supposed to do it off of somebody's leftovers like you got you got that, that stupid shit uh you got a step daddy you the daddy who stepped up get the fuck <laughs> out of here get the fuck out of here bro, bro people have to you have like it's i'm not saying people have to uh deal with the consequences of the actions because i'm saying it bro that's life that's existence and if your actions as, as divine and, and and wonderful and connecting as you're saying sex is okay wonderful but if these motherfuckers out here just doing it frivolously to where we have to question well what's the what's the exact number where she becomes a hoe if it's if it's that prevalent then maybe it don't matter like look look, look I, I go out here and I say look I want a girl who don't want to well, have a bunch of bodies okay I'm bad but if you don't want because uh, sex is important and it's connected so maybe I should be connecting more people that is that what it is like everybody should be a hoe is that what you're saying and also to clear that up because if that's the case you know I'm, I'm, I know a nigga on the corner who needs some pussy I know a nigga on the corner he, he you know his shoes don't look too nice he got a hole in his pants and he smell a little bit but that nigga needs some pussy everybody's supposed to be a whole we, you know we're all connecting and loving we're exchanging energy fuck out of here ain't nobody that gonna do that goes right back to our animalistic nature i know all that's what i'm saying bro all of this goes back to that nature. all the male and all the the males of that species don't get the pussy all the time. It's a select group of men that do. Yes. But also, yes. at the same time, right? So you still also have women, like, we, excuse me, you still also have the females within that, within that also are, for example, like uh, like crocodiles, right? Crocodiles, when they mate, they mate with a certain select bull male, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But then they do other males through different years and shit like that. It's, Mm -hmm. The primates, primates do it differently, and we're closer to primates. Like I won't deny alligators do that, but we're closer to primates, dude. So, but even primates do it. Primates, but they don't. But, all the fucking time. but this, but, 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 but they have an order to it, bro. So even if we yes. Have even if we're getting out the rep, even though we have both, we have a reptilian brain and we have a primate brain, they all, all they do is switch and interchange with one another. They're okay, so then what you're saying is everybody should be fucking each other, right? They do. It's, it's what but they don't, natural. but they don't, they but they do. don't. Just like you said, only a select group of males but, okay. get to fuck. Hold on, hold and that's animal shit. Because not all niggas is admitting off the pheromones. Yeah, and all the niggas don't get chose. And but, see, once again, what we're talking about right now is sex. Right. Sex and marriage are two different things. Hold on, but but also, if we if we are going to say that, if we are going to talk know, about that, right, we already said it. Yeah. That's that's also the responsibility and the divinity that the whore provides. The whore provides. Right. Play that back. Play that head back. Play that back. I don't know what that was. I, when that hit me, like, when, hold on. When you said that, when you said that, nothing registered. Like, I, you have to say that again. I none, none of that hit me right. Say that again, please. All right, I got you. Please. I got you. <laughs> please. None of that registered for me. That was the, like, what the fuck did he just say? Please say that again, bro. I got you. Okay. All right. So you're talking about. All right. Well, if that's the case, then. A bunch of men, men should be getting pussy, and we should be having sex and stuff like that, right? Yet, that is where the whore comes in. The whore comes in and does provide that, right? Or might even be, hold on, might even be the quote unquote jump start the man needs, might even be that boost of confidence, because when they're, when they're talking about the holy whore, right? They're talking about the muse as well. Some is that has bobby not used the muse and the holy or interchangeably that's the maid inside bruh right. see bro look the whore look the whore it's only whore in name because it's 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 um what's the word what's the word um it's um it's adversarial there we go though it's adversarial to the position of virgin that's the only thing Cause look, just like, just like right now, look, follow me, follow me, bro, follow me. Yeah. Just like right now, it only take a dick and a half for a nigga to be gay, right? Back in the day, it only took less than a dick and a half for a bit for a woman to go from a virgin to a whore, mm. right? That's what 
what I'm saying. Get a that's what I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. She could have had a half a dick, and because she's not a virgin for her husband, she's now a whore. That's all that is. It's not. See, see the hoes we have today, the street walk, 